Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vanessa. I moved to the UK about three and a half years ago and I'm originally from Vienna, Austria. Today I thought it's time for another reaction video. Thank you so much for all your recommendations in my other videos. It took me a while to decide which one I should do because I'm a Gemini and also the most indecisive person to ever walk on planet Earth. <laughs> but I've made my decision. I'll be reacting to Al Murray's take on nations of the world. I'm especially interested to see if he says something about Austria or Germany. So yeah, let's dive right in. I always get so excited before I do these. Oh God! <laughs> and there she is at the top in the middle of the map. <laughs> Great Britain. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. She's beautiful, isn't she? Aye? The only actually sexually attractive country on the map. Here, yeah, Ludwig, one look at her. Hey, she's beautiful, isn't she, mate? Hey, mm, I can see why you lot wanted her so much. Yeah, the point is. <laughs> And Great Britain is, of course, the centre of the earth. That's a scientific fact. It can all be argued with. Straight through Great Britain runs the north line of longitude. Great Britain is scientifically, technically, provably the centre of the earth. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Because of the north line of longitude. All right. We put the line there, but it still stands. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means that we, the British, us in here, we're in charge of what time is all over the world. <laughs> It's fucking beautiful, isn't it? It means the Germans don't sit down for their lunch until we say it's one o'clock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for doing this in your life, then. And we wrote a book, we did, and we wrote it in English, the finest language in the world, in fact, the finest language in the universe, a language even spoken in space, as any fan of Star Trek will tell you. A language... <laughs> a language even Americans can handle with some degree of skill, though they're... <laughs> Your boss needs a few lessons, mate. Now, you look at it. <laughs> Axel of Elvis, what's he on about? You look at this. <laughs> it is beautiful. I mean, I mean, we invented work. We, the British, invented work. That is a fact. Yeah, we've done everything. We invented work. We had a revolution, industrial revolution, mm. invented work. The French, didn't they? They had a French revolution when they invented being French. <laughs> <laughs> As a result, a lot of dead French people. <laughs> Progress. The Russians. <laughs> Ask any historian. The Russians, they had a similar revolution outcome. You know, we didn't bother with that. You know, we had the Industrial Revolution where we invented work. At the end of it, everyone had shoes, a knife and a fork, and a giant fucking metal ship each. You can't argue with that. <laughs> That's why we, the British, are currently entitled to have our feet up and have whatever we want made by a Malaysian four year old for a pound. <laughs> you and I earned that. We should make the most of it. Now. Yeah, and it's a broad church, Great Britain. We've got the Scots, we've got the Jocks, of course, and I love you, Jocks, you're beautiful people. Yeah, yeah, I love you, you're beautiful. And it's, you, Jocks, you like to say, don't you, Paul? You like to say, ah, the Battle of Bannockburn. Nay, nay, the Battle of Bannockburn. Nay, when the field ran red with English blood, when Robert the Bruce tore the English indeed, a lesson he would never forget. Fair play. Got to give it to you on that one. You want it third square. But... You say Bannockburn, I say Culloden, because it's not the heat that count, is it, mate? It's the final. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I remember, you, you lot have never actually been in the final, have you? Now, look at this, you Look at this, in. Our Celtic brethren, the Welsh, and I love the Welsh. They're beautiful people, aren't they? God bless the Welsh. Hey, and what's interesting about the Welsh is it said they have an accent. I don't think they do. I think they have an attitude, with all due respect. <laughs> <laughs> Every time a Welsh bloke opens his mouth, he sounds as though he's dying of some inner fucking hurt and torment that he hasn't figured out yet. <laughs> Whatever it is, even on his wedding day, the happiest day of his life, he sounds pissed off, doesn't he? This is the happiest day of my life! I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you, the most beautiful woman I have ever seen! In Cardiff! <laughs> Why won't it stop raining now, next door? There's our cheeky sidekick, Island, of course. I mean, look at it. We're like a motorbike and sidecar. They'd <laughs> <laughs> be going nowhere without us. <laughs> oh, they've changed the name, paint a different colour, but we're the ones with the fucking engine. You look at it. <laughs> and I. Oi! No! I'll be the first to admit it's been a bumpy ride with the Irish. It's not always gone according to plan. And even when it has gone according to plan, they haven't liked that either, have they? Leading to long, expensive judicial inquiries. But <laughs> it's, all, 
There's a lot went wrong. I mean, that potato famine was a terrible fucking business. But you couldn't get crisps for love nor money in this country. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we first turned to peanuts in my business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep the punters thirsty somehow. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the Irish, and I have infinite respect for them, up to a point, because over up many years... <laughs> Over many years, they've done much for us, haven't they? I mean, they? They dug our roads and now they sing for our amusement. It's fantastic. <laughs> 20 years ago, Westlife would have been digging the M25. There's no doubt about that. Do <laughs> I believe I can fly? Yeah, all right. Is it level? Get back to it. <laughs> OK. I love that Westlife. I forgot about those guys. <laughs> they've done well for a bunch of tone-deaf, spud-faced chances. <laughs> <laughs> Next, of course, we have the neighbour from hell. Bitch! I don't know why we don't just grow a great big hedge up the English Channel. <laughs> Spoil their light, eh? <laughs> big noisy party in Kent. Chuck some dog shit over the fence, eh? <laughs> Set fire to a few tyres, eh? <laughs> That'll be the way to go. France, or the France, as it prefers to call itself. The France. La France, the France, in case we should confuse it with some other France. <laughs> with this France, or that France, or courageous, reliable, turning up in times of battle France, or... <laughs> <laughs> you work your way down, there's the unsolved Rubik's Cube of Europe there. Spain and Portugal, as you can see. Can't get them last two bricks. Now... <laughs> who has been to Spain? Show of hands, please. Everybody, Every basically. Recently, this, person. Battle of Armada, 1588, we defeated the Spanish. As a result, they signed a humiliating treaty allowing our boys and girls to go and fight on their beaches. Of course. <laughs> we, we, we've got to stay match fit somehow. Now, <laughs> this had the added bonus. If the Spanish try anything, we're poised, ready to invade the following morning once our heads have cleared and we've stopped copulating like eels. I'll tell you what, <laughs> what goes on in Spain is filthy, isn't it, Annie? It's filthy, isn't it, love? Filthy, isn't it? Filthy. Say it, love. Filthy. Yeah, of course, filthy like that. Filthy. Filthy. My little Canadian friend, you say filthy now as well. Go say filthy. Filthy. <laughs> yeah, how about you two look at each other and say filthy? <laughs> Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, you might enjoy it, you never know. It could be the beginning of something very interesting. Come oh, on. Come on, no. Do it! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was fantastic, wasn't it? That's every man's dream, isn't it? The chance to disappoint two women at once. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, I'm puffed out from the first one. Ah. Look at this. And the whole thing with Spain. Right, this is a great place to go on holiday because it's extremely hot, right? Yeah, in fact, it's so hot you can't think, innit? You get off the plane, you can't even fucking think your way down at the end of the stairs. You have a couple of beers, you wipe your own memory. It's the perfect place to go and get away from everything because you can't think, you can't remember anything. Fucking brilliant. Yeah? Now, that's fine for us. Going there for two weeks, a week, weekend, whatever. Yeah, for the British to get away from it all, go to a country where it's too hot to think. But for the people actually living there, it's caused all sorts of problems. <laughs> Yeah, the Spanish, I mean, they have that lie down in the afternoon to try and clear their heads and make some decisions in the evening. But <laughs> it's played havoc with their decision making process, isn't it? For many centuries, they were convinced the earth was flat. I mean, for Christ's sake. It's not even level, is it? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, mountains are the clue, aren't they? Fuck it hell. Hey, look around you, Carlos. I mean, they had to be. They had to be proved wrong by an Italian. That's how low they'd sunk. Then there's a. <laughs> That whole business of fighting animals, bullfighting. Now, I have no row with a cow. I want no battle with cattle. It's not personal, is it, the whole thing with a cow? We look rear a cow, look after it for a couple of years, and it turns itself into the abattoir. But it's not personal, is it? Huh? It's, not, it's a business arrangement. It's not personal. I wouldn't punch a cow in the face. It would be a humiliating thing to do to it on its way to its death. I wouldn't do that. Right? It would be unfair on the cow. It just so happens I'm hungry, he's made a beef. It's not personal, is it? <laughs> Obviously, I'll punch a squirrel if I could get close enough. <laughs> Fuck you, you little bastard. Fuck off. Stop leaving nuts in the sand pit in the beer garden. But <laughs> if I did punch a squirrel, I'd be doing it for myself. What? Out of curiosity or revenge. I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't be doing it for the amusement of strangers in an arena. I wouldn't put on tights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bullfighting. I wouldn't so stick pins in a squirrel bad. first to enrage him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't wave a cape with the colour squirrels don't like. Just, just probably a grey green <laughs> like a rotten. Nut. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't do it. Normal. Hey, Ludwig, what's your animal size punching limit cut off? What's the biggest animal you'd punch, Ludwig? <laughs> a dog. <laughs> yeah, but there's all sorts of. What are you talking a Great Dane or a Terrier? What are we talking? Great Dane. You punch a Great Dane. <laughs> <laughs> that's you and the, that's the Germans all over it, the Danish. You're not happy with them, each other, are you? <laughs> <laughs> now, the point is, the point is this, right, I mean, if you chucked a donkey off a church tower in Great Britain, <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, right, if you chucked a donkey off a church tower in Great Britain, right, yeah, you'd be on a register in about 15 minutes fat, wouldn't you? Big angry crowd of fat women in shell suits protesting at your doorstep, <laughs> having brought their kids along without the faintest idea what's going on. <laughs> That's because this country is normal. Now. <laughs> Work your way along, there's Italy, and I'd like to point out right now that this is this is fact. There's no opinion in what's to follow. The basic thing with Italy, right, is they've got no follow through, have they? You don't see stuff through, so it's logical. 43, they folded early. <laughs> Venice, they still haven't called a plumber. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's under them stairs. Yeah, do it fucking do up the stopcock for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, in any other country, a flooded city that stank of shit would be regarded as a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Not some sort of romantic jewel in a crown. <laughs> I mean, a pizza. So what is a pizza? I tell you, it's a pasty that some arsehole hasn't shut yet, isn't it? <laughs> no. Shut the pasty, Giuseppe! <laughs> Volcanoes, because I ain't finished. Yeah, Up here, we have pizza. Germany. Now, I respect Everyone the Germans, I do. Because yeah, they tried twice, didn't they? <laughs> Two cracks of the world title, you'll have to respect that. Swiss, there's course the plucky Swiss, Switzerland there. I mean, God bless the Swiss. I mean, look at the situation those people have got themselves into. Hey, look at it, hey? French to the right of them, yeah? Austrians to the left of them, Germans up above, Italians down below. Hey, you'd never sell that flat, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to shift it, no matter how tidy it was, how much chocolate you left lying around. This <laughs> Austria, which is made of pastry, that's why it shrunk. You work your way down, you've got Yugoslavia. Now, basically, Basically, what? I'll explain it for the MP. Basically, <laughs> basically, Jane, the people who live in Yugoslavia don't really get on. That's all you need now. Now, <laughs> and a while ago, we, the British, bombed it, yeah? Because it's very complicated. We bombed it to make it simpler for them. But, um... <laughs> can't argue about who lives where when there's no houses left, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no pleasing some people. Down here, Albania, where the albinos live, you've got, uh... <laughs> Greece, where they invented the Olympics. Turkey, where they invented Christmas. I know which one I prefer. It comes around every year. It's Bulgaria, <laughs> Romania, Moldavia, the Womble countries. It's, uh... <laughs> Ukraine, the only country you can get the word urine out of in one go. There's <laughs> Poland, where everyone's a trained plumber. Lithuania, where they're all electricians. Estonia, where they're all uh, plasterers. And Latvia, <laughs> where everyone's a carpenter. Coming over here, doing the jobs we're not prepared to do, because we've all got worthless degrees in media studies. There's, um... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at, look at the size. When you look at the world from this angle, though, look at the size of Russia. Look at the size. Of, just look at the size of Russia. Annie, hop up, measure Russia, love. Come on, put a finger either end of Russia, sweetheart. That's it. Good girl. Your dreams are going to come true for you. That's it. Could they, yeah. yeah. Did you see? Did you see exactly? Hold the fingers up. Show everyone exactly how big. How big. How big. Yes. You. You're getting the message, yet, sweetheart. <laughs> There's a fine line between banter and harassment, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> There is. Fucking European court. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Russia's gigantic. Yeah? She goes all the way around to America. Yeah? Then you've got the international date line that we set up a while back so middle aged men from Birmingham can meet and marry ladies from the Philippines. <laughs> then we have. <laughs> the Pacific Rim, Andrew. Yeah, I got your number, pal. <laughs> Japan, of course, Korea, well, 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 of course, the Korean War, that was a terrible business. Basically, we found out they were eating dogs and sent in the RSPCA rifles as quickly as we could. There's some... <laughs> China, where they put a man into space very recently. Mind you, they didn't use a rocket, they just stood on each other's shoulders and passed him up. Fucking <laughs> <brilliant. laughs> Hence the leotard shortage two years ago. There's some... Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> Mongolia, of course, we're not allowed to call it that anymore. I am fucking social workers. There's some. Um, <laughs> Same goes for the Black Sea. There's Kazakhstan, of course, where the Kazakhs live, Uzbekistan, where the Uzbekis live, Turkmenistan, where the Turkmenis live, Tajikistan, where the Tajikis live, and Kazakhstan, where they're taking a fucking piss, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes all the way around to Europe, yeah? Russia's gigantic, a massive country, endless mineral resources, and a population used to doing exactly as they're told for tuppence. And it's still crap, they can't turn it around. And I think the simple reason for this is they need, and the only way they're going to fix it, they need to get in a proper working alphabet with actual letters that people can read. <laughs> it's a nonsense. <laughs> Ding bats, that's what they think. Down here, of course, Africa. Now, as a man of science, yeah, like Ben here, the doctor, would tell us that all human life originally evolved in Africa. Would you say that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I can't agree with you, mate. I was in Devon three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this. Natural selection's got some power lifting to do in Plymouth. <laughs> No thumbs, tails. It's an outrage. <laughs> Cornwall is actually Celtic for cousin's wedding. And we have... <laughs> the Middle East. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> in fact, the Middle East is extremely complicated. In fact, it's so complicated that me explaining it here tonight could possibly make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a punt, why not? Fuck it. The point is... I mean, basically, it's basically all you really need to know, Jane, is the people who live there don't really get on, all right? And, <laughs> And for my money, they should all pull their heads in. Right? Pull your heads in, fellas. Calm down! Yeah, that's my advice. I'm in the Israelis. I don't like the people at the end of my road, but I haven't bought a tank. Hate them. <laughs> <laughs> of course, once you've bought a tank, you've got to use it, anyway. That's where all the problems arise. <laughs> and a while ago, we, the British, very helpfully stepped in to try and sort out the Middle East once and for all. We did. We did. We made an effort, yeah, on our way through to India to get a cuppa. And we... <laughs> <laughs> We sat them all down, back of an envelope, red pen and a ruler, and we drew them some nice new straight borders yeah, around the naturally occurring oil that we had found that they weren't looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and we set them up with kings and queens and Arab countries with beautiful Arab names like Syria and Iraq and Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I mean, we could have just called them Shell, S-O, B-P, <laughs> Texaco, Wild Bean Cafe, but no! <laughs> <laughs> Iraq, it's ours now. There's Iran, who's next? There's Afghanistan, work in progress. There's uh, <laughs> Pakistan, who need to get their house in order. And then, of course, India, or 118 India, as I prefer to call it. It's <laughs> <laughs> because of the phones. Basically, the Geordies asked for too much <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> what they were. Well, they were going to spend a pound a week, and I can't imagine. Here we have. But India. It's a land of ancient, mysterious, mystic, ancient mystery, an ancient, mysterious, mystic land locked within an ancient, mysterious, mystic tradition of ancient, mysterious, mystic mystery, wrapped within the mysteries of ancient mysticism. <laughs> with four billion people that we used to run with two blokes and a bike. And how, <laughs> how we got away with that, I can't imagine. That's the actual mystery. Here you work your way around, there's the dangling genitals of Southeast Asia, as you can see. You can see that there. And if, can you see that? Dangling genitals. Fantastic. And now uh, with Vietnam, those the left bullet, jokes. Cambodia, the right bullet. <laughs> Malaysia, the bell end. Singapore, the Japs eye. There's uh, <laughs> Christmas Island, where it is Christmas every day. Someone should tell Wizard and they can fucking knock it off. There's uh, <laughs> Indonesia, Papa's got a brand new Guinea. There's Australia. <laughs> or Wilkinson Land, as I prefer to call it. Here we have New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, New Zealand. Yeah, of course. Land of ancient hobbits and orcs. Hey, yeah, yeah, you like the hobbits, don't you, Andrew? They're about the right height, aren't they, pal? You have definitely thought about it. It's all you can think about. You're, you are obsessed, mate. That's all you can think about all the time. You can't get out of your head. Now, up here, of course, we have uh, Hawaii, where Pearl Harbor is, as everyone knows. As everyone knows, where the Americans were taken completely by surprise two years into a global war. <laughs> <laughs> You're amateurs, mate. <laughs> now, Trog Tropic of Cancer, they should change that. It's tasteless. Um, it's <laughs> that setting for the relatives. There's Easter Island, of course, where the there's lots of chocolate. The Galapagos, where we invented evolution. Down here. <laughs> the South Pole. Now, everyone knows that the British were actually second to the South Pole. That's a fact. I'm not afraid of admitting that. But, because we got there second, we were able to verify that the other bloke got there first. Which means, strictly speaking, we're the umpire on that one. Therefore, it's our game, our rules, we win. Come on over there. 
Come on, that. <laughs> Falkland Islands, 1982. No help from no one else, eh? Hey, fantastic. And that wasn't a wharf royal either. That was a wharf of penguins, which, of course, are an essential ingredient in making Guinness. You boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top. There's uh, <laughs> treacherous Argentina chilli, which is stringy. Up here we have Peru. Has anyone here been to Peru? Anyone at all? Yeah, a few, a couple of people been to Peru. Yeah, the lady there, what's your name, love? Laura. Laura. Posh. Now, you went, what was Peru like, love? Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm never going there, sweetheart. And I urge none of you to go there, and I urge none of you to have anything to do with Peru, right? Because that country might be beautiful, love, but it's bang out of order. I'm no bleeding heart, you've detected that by now, but the way they treat their bears is a fucking outrage. <laughs> bears. The way they take a bear when he's not even fully grown, they give him a suitcase and a scruffy old hat and a scruffy old coat. They give him his travel documents, a note, please look after this bear, not even so his <laughs> fucking name is. <laughs> Send him off on his way, eh? It's an outrage. Coming over here eating our marmalade sandwiches. There's that. <laughs> There's Colombia, where excitement's from. There's, uh, <laughs> Venezuela, capital city, Caracas. Grow up. Yeah. <laughs> Panama, one canal. I'm not impressed. We've got thousands, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> and ours will lead to Great Britain. Don't they? Not the arse end of fucking nowhere. <laughs> There's the cricketing area. Not what it was. There's um, Mexico, capital city, Mexico City. Make an effort! <laughs> And, of course, the United States of America, which is basically, the best way of looking at it, really, is that it's a good idea that's got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've lost the plot, these people. Look, you can't call a town Tampa. It's going to confuse the ladies. <laughs> I mean, they got off to a good start. New England, you can see what they're trying to do there. I mean, you've got, <laughs> you've got Norfolk, Durham, Richmond, Birmingham, Newark, Hartford... <laughs> Manchester, they're starting to run out of sensible names, aren't they? <laughs> Bang up, Welsh name alert, they're in the shit. I mean, then they go mad. <laughs> Chattanooga, Tennessee, Albuquerque. It's not, we're not, we're not playing fucking Scrabble, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> up here, of course, is Canada. Now, these people in this part of Canada are absolutely. Com <laughs> this is priceless. These. <laughs> These people in this part of Canada are absolutely convinced that they're French. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the case. They're just living somewhere shit and it's a reflex action. <laughs> There's, uh... Baffin Island without a baffin on it. Greenland, which is white. Iceland, which is a volcano. The Faroe Islands, nowhere near Egypt. I'm not responsible for the names. And back here... <laughs> back here, of course, is Great Britain, because that's one of the most beautiful things about the world being round the way the British God made it for us. <laughs> because God is British, that's why we don't have earthquakes in this country. Because <laughs> you don't shit on your own doorstep. <laughs> the most beautiful thing about the world being round is whichever way you go, you'll always end up back here in Great Britain. Here in Her Majesty's London, on a Sunday night, drinking the Bloomsbury Theatre with people like you. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Some of these gags I really enjoyed. Some of them, not so much. Most of his gags were really spot on and really funny, but some of them really made me feel a bit uncomfortable, especially as a woman. It's really interesting because I think what he's doing as a comic is crossing a line and stepping over a line or a lot of lines and I think in his case it's that pub landlord character and I think every one of us has come across a person like that and it is really cool how he incorporates his audience and talks to them but I think if I would have been one of these women in the front row I would have just felt so uncomfortable. He actually is really knowledgeable between all the jokes and what I find really funny is that there is an element of truth to a lot of his jokes and being from Austria and having traveled in Europe, I think it's spot on. I love the Westlife joke, love the Mexico City joke. Make an effort, Mexico City. Absolutely love the Paddington joke. However, the Austria joke, I am a bit disappointed by that. I think there are so many other things that you could have chosen. Austria is made of pastry, that's why I drank. 
Not sure about that one. But yeah, good video. If I would rate this, it would be a seven out of 10 for me because it was really funny, but there were just times where I felt slightly uncomfortable. But maybe, as I said, that's part of the experience. Let me know in the comments what I should react to next. I can't promise that I can make a decision quickly, but I'll try my best. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week.